Yeah. I say don't move. <laughs> but I know when I talk, I'm going to be like this. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it's not doing anything. Oh, it's right? actually good. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Don't move. <laughs> don't touch nothing. No. See, you moved. There you go. See, I think, I think that's pretty good. Okay. All right, roll credits. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and as always, I am joined by my lovely co-host, Aaron. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm kind of so, this is becoming my new like I like to go hello everyone that's my new yeah, thing. That's you like to double wave. Yeah, <laughs> just a yeah. The Oprah hug. Yeah. Oh, I've always I've all, I used to do that to people. I'd be like, "Can I give you an Oprah hug?" <laughs> and they're like, "What is that?" I'm like, "Here, let me explain." <laughs> okay, we haven't even said what we're talking about today. <laughs> we're just talking about hello, which is Oprah. on brand for us. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're going to do our first segment that we like to call Gone Too Soon, which we're dedicating to canceled soaps. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to watch the complete series because a lot of them are only about 10 to 13 episodes. Not long at all. No, and (laughs) talk about what we thought, the cast, why we're sad it ended. (laughs) Um. So the first show up is Titans, which aired on NBC, sadly, in 2000. So it never stood a chance. <laughs> and <laughs> what's, what's sad is it's true. If it was on NBC or Fox, you ain't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was an Aaron Spelling show. Mo's place was already off the air. 90210 had just ended. Now you're, so just think, repeat, you're just like, repeating the promo. <laughs> That's kind of what it said. I loved it. Sorry. I mean, it's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so they were seriously hoping that maybe this would be the new it thing. prime time Aaron Spelling hit. Mm-hmm. And it was not. <laughs> um, <laughs> nope. So let's talk about the cast first. Literally every single person in the cast I have seen in another soap, daytime or primetime, with the exception of one actress, um, Yasmin Bleeth um, from Baywatch, but that's not really a soap. But she was on Ryan's Hope, so she does kind of. You might as well say Baywatch was a soap. I mean, I mean, they were kind of standalone episodes. Oh, well. For the most part. I didn't really watch it, so I can't really... A soap opera on the beach. Sounds like Sunset Beach. (laughs) (laughs) Um, They had Casper Van Dien, who was on 90210, and I'm sure other things. Uh Uh-huh. He gives you the vapors. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, back then, I loved him. There was something about him. I don't know what it was. He was married to Amanda from Dynasty in Her Life. Really? Yeah. Catherine... No, what's her... I don't know her last name. But they're married. I, I haven't watched those seasons, so I don't know who she goes. Let's see. I didn't know one. that. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, but is, that, I, is that one of the tidbits you wanted to share with me? No, gosh, no. Oh. <laughs> Aaron IMDb the show, and he found out some things that he thinks that I don't know. So I am anxious. I mean, you may it. know it, but I don't feel like you do. <laughs> um, who else was in it? Oh, Victoria Principal from Dallas. Um, and as far as I know, this is her first time working with Aaron Spelling. Because she wasn't on Dynasty or 90210. Yeah, I think, I think it was, yeah. Um, I don't know the actor's name, but the one that plays Richard. Something Perry, Perry something. Perry King. Perry, Perry King. <laughs> he was on Melrose Place. Um, Jack Wagner makes an appearance, Melrose Place. Ingo Rademacher, General Hospital. Oh. Um, Is that everybody? No, but it's okay. (laughs) I can't remember all Yeah, basically everybody has been in some kind of soap opera, minus one of the sisters, Jen, the alcoholic. And there were kind of Aaron Spelling shows for a lot of them were. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if you watched the original pilot. Now, uh, I had started it, but then when you said skip it, I skipped it. 
So it's the exact same episode, except the one character, Sam, the Latina, the only Latina on the show, <laughs> um, was recasted. But the original actress that played her was on Sunset Beach and Aaron Spelling Show. Mm-hmm. And so was one of the guys. He's kind of in a side character. He's from Sunset Beach. I can't remember his name. Oh, he worked at the know. airport. Yes, I know who you're talking about. I don't yeah, know his name. I know who you're talking about. So. It's Isn't a link. It all goes back to Aaron's phone. <laughs> he's on Station 19 now, I think. Yes. Okay. And he was on Mistresses. He's been on. He's been in everything. Yeah, he's been in a lot of things. He's a very, very. And he never guy. ages. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very good too. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, let's just jump so, into the episodes because I have comments. Okay, this is the first time you're watching it, right? You've yes. never really watched it yes. before. Okay, so initial. First impressions. Who, as they're walking down the aisle, says, "I'm pregnant with your baby." As I'm about to go, like, "You're ba- you're my daddy's baby." As I'm about to marry your daddy, like that's total. So I love. I mean, I loved it. But I was like, "Ooh, she's gonna be p- trouble." And I lo- like at first I thought she's this nice girl because really? like, well, at first I thought she was gonna be nice. I didn't know she was what. How I don't know why. Just <laughs> at the moment, she she's I don't. Know. I feel like she does nothing but throw shade at everybody <laughs> and not like has under remarks. There at first, I felt like she was a little like I couldn't tell she was conniving and going to be scheming. I feel like she doesn't hold back. I feel like as the episode progresses, she gets like more and more overt about. You're, you're like, did we watch the same episode? <laughs> Because she's like, I'm pregnant and it's yours. And then she just like struts away. To, like, I know, but that was the very end of that episode. Like... <laughs> that was the very end of that episode. So that's why I thought maybe she was just. It was very over the top in a daytime. Uh, so, so that was the best ending. I loved her little ending. Like I'm pregnant and it's yours. Now take me to marry your father. <laughs> I kind of enjoy her unapologetic um, bitchiness. Oh no, I I love her. Like I really enjoy Heather. Yeah. Oh, Josh Burrowman's in it. He plays he Peter. Is. He's Peter. Yeah. I was kind of hoping he would end up being gay. I don't know why. I think I thought that too. <laughs> Just for a little bit, I thought he like his character was gay, but then it's he's all about like, you know. He was in another primetime soap a few years before that called CPW Central Park West. It was a Darren. It was we'll watch it. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it was a Darren Star show. I think he left Melrose to go do that. Okay, and, and then that, it failed. Well, that's when Melrose kind of started to lose that spark. Yeah, around season three, right? And do you think that's when Central Park he, West he, was on? He left about season four. I right. Thought, yeah. Like midway through, right? Yeah. Or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then he went on to Sex in the City. And we all know where it went from there. <laughs> um, what do you think about the hatred between Peter and Heather? I love it. <laughs> I love it too. And she, I don't remember. She slapped him like when he said so you're just sleeping your way through the family and she i was like oh daytime slap yes and then when she <laughs> threw water you know threw i thought of you when she threw the water wine. i was like oh aaron's like yes i, I was i was like yay that's my favorite <laughs> moment in any kind of soap opera <laughs> but she wasn't even like close to him to throw it she like threw it from like across the table well she was sitting adjacent to him but it was still a distance. <laughs> Just I mean she's got good, you know, she's done it before. She's practiced. <laughs> so I I meant to pay attention, but I kept like not. <laughs> is she actually sleeping with the father that she's married to? Yeah. How is she? Because mm-hmm. I feel like she's having a rough time just like faking the pregnancy as if it's his. Like well, at the moment where I'm at, he doesn't even know she's pregnant. Um well, we're up to the same part, so... Episode four. Yeah, so... Uh, she was asking if he wanted more children, and he's like, oh, no, let's be married a few years. And she's like, what? Oh, so she tried it. 
Yeah, she tried and then failed. It's so, I, I, love like, how, oh, I was just saying, I love how 2000 it is, like dress 2K. Just takes me back to when everything was like Y2K themed. <laughs> I was like, it reminded what? me of in the last season of 90210 when Donna store was launching a website Mm -hmm. and ironically um the blonde on the show played camille on 90210 and worked at her store the one with the pixie haircut Mm -hmm. um so yeah i thought about that it it was very 2000s everything had 2k at it like it was like the cool innovative new thing (laughs) i've joked about it with you but i feel like this is almost like melrose place season eight we just have a whole new cast like no one came on because the music just really reminds me of melrose and that dramatic just kind of stare i started paying attention to that after you said that to me did i ruin it for you and i agree (laughs) but it like less electric guitar like melrose place used to have I'm not a fan of the theme song for Titans, though. Which one? Because after season two, season two, after episode two, they changed it. <laughs> oh, well, then neither, because all I can think is I don't like it. You didn't notice there was a different song? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 because I didn't like the first time I heard it, so I just didn't. So you just automatically were like, oh, yeah. I hate this song. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. It definitely feels like they didn't really know what to do. They were just kind of trying something new every episode. Well, like they brought Jack what Jack Wagner in, in episode two. Okay, so and then he's like gone. Since you brought that up, I can share. I can share my knowledge I learned. Okay, since you talked about them bringing him on, so Aaron Spelling was in the process. I read, and since it's on IMDb, I feel like it's true. It's got to be true. He was in the process of bringing. Alexis Carrington on as a, or Joan Collins on as Alexis Carrington Colby and mm-hmm. also in the process of trying to get Donna Mills to come on to play Perry King's sister. I didn't know that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so good knowing it. I was like, I know something. Yes. And, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so it was still interesting, though, to learn that. Yeah. Um, well, he did that with another show, Pacific Palisades. He brought Joan Collins on midway. He does but that with almost every show that's kind of starting to fail. He did he it with Mo's the- Place with Heather Locklear. He did it with Dynasty with Joan Collins. Yeah. So that's kind of like his thing. Like He, he was really good at savings. <laughs> but they never made it, so they couldn't even save the show. Which I'm kind of like, not sure. I understand it wasn't the best show starting out. But I felt potential, like for it to be a hit. Like, had it continued on and given a chance, and I've read this in an article because I did some research. This um, <laughs> TV journalist was talking about that. Like, she was like, had it been given a full season, she felt it would have had the potential to become something bigger than what it was. And the writing's I agree with that. that bad. I mean, I haven't watched it in a really long time. So, it's kind of like a new show to me right now. I remember like big moments, but I'm liking it. It just feels like, how do I say this? It was trying to be over the top, like Melrose Place right out the gate. And you, mm-hmm. I felt like you needed to kind of work up to that crazy. You not have to just earn it. Earn, it. earn that crazy. Yeah, you have to earn it. Not just be it, right? Because then it's kind of like, oh, this is kind of like, can't be over the top which i live for camping over the top which is probably why i actually enjoy this show um but there are moments when i'm even like mm, really <laughs> but i don't care I, for, like i don't care for uh jenny i don't know why be- yeah the alcoholic mm-hmm. not because she's an alcoholic um she's kind of whiny yeah i think that's what it is like She's a little whiny, so I don't care for that. And then... Oh, I, you're going to love this. The guy in the first episode that she was sleeping with that was married. Oh, from Patrick Diggs. from Days Patrick Patrick Yes. Diggs. <laughs> I, 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 when I, he first came, I was like, oh, Patrick. 
I'm like, I know that's not your name, but <laughs> you'll always be Patrick to me. I think his name is Brody Huxler. It's, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. So literally every character, including yeah, like it's, the side it's, characters. Either has been, on a, has been on a soap or will be on a soap. Yeah, and yeah. Even the nephew, <laughs> Kevin, I don't um, oh yeah, he's from Gossip Girl. He, he ends up on Gossip Girl. Mm-hmm. Again, it was like he came in in like the third episode. It's like every episode they added a new character. The credits keep changing every week. <laughs> <laughs> Even the logo for Titans changed. <laughs> and well, I know it switched nights too. And I hate when they do that. I've, I'm a firm believer in a first season. If it's showing any kind of success, don't switch it. Mm-hmm. Don't switch it because the ratings did not look that bad. I, I didn't look at, at the ratings. Um, I mean, maybe it's compared to now. Maybe then it would have been, a, I guess, a little different because streaming wasn't around and all that. But it's like, really? It was getting 8 million viewers and you canceled it? So That like, would have been a hit for the WB. <laughs> that would have been like <laughs> platinum. That's like twice <laughs> the ratings that they get on any of those shows. That, that's like... <laughs> Eight million more viewers than typically show hub. <laughs> Even Fox, I think, would have been happy with that. It's just because it was NBC and they were, you know, major yeah. player. So um, I think they were the reason why I stopped committing to shows on NBC. <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah, I no longer commit to shows on NBC or Fox. Fox, I still take my chances with. I I I started watching Filthy Rich, and after a few episodes, I was like, nope, it doesn't stand a chance on Fox. Nope. Mm -mm." Yeah, I didn't think it was going to get a second season. And then, like, I love it. It's like, well, you know, COVID. I'm like, yeah, that ain't COVID's fault. That's Fox's fault. They filmed the whole season before COVID. (laughs) Well, they pushed it back, too. So I was just like, oh, fine. I didn't even finish Filthy Rich because I was kind of disappointed. Because it was very campy. Wait, like, we're not talking about, <laughs> about Titans. <laughs> Man, we get in our little soapbox. <laughs> I have a feeling, because I don't remember, um, <laughs> Heather and Peter, I just feel like their hatred is brewing in, into, like, sex. It, they, they're going to have sex with each other. Like, they're going to have, like, a slap fight and then just, like, sleep together. <laughs> well, you only have one more episode. <laughs> Richard. Peter. Oh, Peter, Peter. Oh, I thought you said Richard. No. <laughs> like uh Richard dies in like the next episode. So I was like, in the episodes you're watching, are they do they show previews for the next episode? Yes. Yeah, that's how I, you know, that's how I kind of okay. well, and <laughs> when I looked at the cast, it shows how long they were there for. And it said like episodes one through six. I was like, oh, so he goes. The playlist that I sent you on YouTube must be the from the same person that I got the DVDs from because <laughs> the two episodes were out of order in the same spot. <laughs> I I can things like that I can really notice. You were right though. It was easy to say, oh, I didn't see this and stop during the previous thing on. Like, so I, was I was like, oh, oh something's happening. Recently, and I was like, wait. <laughs> that didn't when happen. Did he, <laughs> when did he shove her into a lamp? <laughs> and then we did I was like, I must be on the wrong episode. Then I was like, let me go to the next one. And that's when I was like, oh, here we go. Right one. <laughs> so I just, I do just, I feel like it had potential. And I felt like the Yasmin would have been, oh my gosh, if they would have given it a little more time. She definitely like she leans been, into the bitchiness. I feel like she would have been up there with uh, Alexis Carrington, Amanda, Amanda, Time. She's got the she's got the soap opera strut down. Like she's just got the vixenness. Makes me wonder why isn't she on? So- why didn't she go to another soap or something like that? Like she had personal problems. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Around this time too, so maybe that's also why I got canceled. Um. Well, I, and I'm sure like Casper. It's weird saying his name is Casper because I just. <laughs> ghost uh, <laughs> like i don't know how he didn't become a bigger thing because he has that look well especially was he was in that movie starship troopers that was like really popular back then i never seen it i've seen it oh, with, with denise richards i think isn't it mm-hmm. who's now a soap star herself <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Just... It, I guess um, the one that plays the blonde sister, I don't know the character's name. I forgot. Um, Lori. Lori. I guess she must have filmed the pilot for this while she was on 90210. Oh, uh, was her hair exactly the same? Something? Well, because isn't pilot season like kind of like February, January, February? Yeah, a lot. That's it's when they a lot earlier. Start to film. They film it and then it gets picked up before May so that they know. I didn't notice because usually you could see like a difference in like the hairstyles from the first episode to the second episode because there's such a gap between. Oh, I, that's why. I'm filming. That. But so, I didn't notice it in this one. I love sitcoms because the the first episode, the house is always completely different. Yes, like what the house would actually be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so noticeable too. Some dramas, nine hundred two would know the pilot. The Walsh house was different. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Hmm. Um, Dynasty, the staircase was on a different side than the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the new one, in the old one. I think nowadays they try not to do that as much, though, for consistency. Yeah, but... For consistency. Um, we love sex. We love to talk about sex. We, we do. <laughs> oh, I love a We should have a whole podcast about sex. <laughs> I, I, I can have a whole podcast probably about just stares. I Because that's my favorite thing in soaps. I love when a dramatic song or uh-huh. something romantic plays and like they just walk down the stairs all... <laughs> like in season five of Pretty Little Liars, Alice and her little group walks down to that song, Fight Song. Fight Song. Oh, really? And I just love it. I love stairs. I don't know why. No, I enjoy a spiral staircase. In college, <laughs> uh, my prof- someone in my class, I, we had a video class where we made videos, and I always had staircases. <laughs> Or some kind of stairs or someone running down the stairs and they pointed it out. They're like, I don't know, you always use stairs. That's kind of weird. I was like, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so I upped it and had tons of stairs every time I turned around. Even if it was an interview, I'd kind of just stand on in front of a staircase. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't make fun of me. So um, I know Jack Wagner does come back, I think, after Richard dies in the next episode. Um, which I'm not upset about him leaving. <laughs> I like that actor though. Maybe it's oh, because no. he was on Marrow's Place, so I kind of was like, oh, I like seeing people from other shows and newer shows. I think I may but, not like him because of his character on Marrow's Place. I don't, like yeah. nothing personal against the actor because he was in, um, remember a Disney Channel? They had a show called The Torkelsons. Yes. I think really? he was the dad in the school. Like this. Oh my god, I never put that together. And I loved him on there. Oh wow. I, 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 uh... Yes. <laughs> In your face, Tommy. <laughs> you got me. Gotcha. <laughs> Finally. And then that became a show called Almost Home with Brittany Murphy. Yep. And the, the Torgelsons like moved. Yeah. I and, used forgot, to watch that show. and forgot about half the other kids. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> That's like, I know. <laughs> um, so when I heard Victoria Principal's voice, like clearly she's older because this is like 30 years, maybe 20 after Dallas. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I heard her voice, I was like, Pam? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded exactly the same. Yes. I was just like, oh, Pam's here. <laughs> I wish she would have been like, not so nice you know like i wish she would have been a little bit more she's what i imagined pam would be if it, she hadn't died on dallas <laughs> <laughs> just like in her older years <laughs> okay yeah i get that and i think this was like the last thing victoria principal did acting wise oh i held up i held up hope for three seasons that she'd come on the new dynasty it's like surely they'll find a way to go or, ooh, yeah, Dallas. <laughs> the new Dallas. Because yeah. they talked about her so much. I they? know. I felt like there was like a secret deal. I know. They like, oh, <laughs> they're talking about her because they're going to find a way to get her here. Even in the second season, there was a scene, um, was it Christopher? Where 
they thought they had found her and he like grabbed the shoulder of the woman that was supposed to be her and as she turned around i was like oh my god is it gonna be her is it gonna be her <laughs> and they were just same thing mm -hmm. same thing and then they killed her off for real i mean <laughs> does anyone die in a soap that's true you can see the body see them take the organs out of the body <laughs> find a way to bring them back jack Devereaux, for example yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do you think about the character Samantha? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have a lot of comments, I guess, because she's just kind of bland. You don't think she has chemistry with Casper? No. What about with Peter? He seems to have like a I can see, I can see her. her and Peter kind of getting together, but then Peter would realize he's gay and would come out, so it wouldn't work. <laughs> or that's how my storyline really goes. <laughs> Maybe if the show had aired in 2010, that would be the direction it went. And oh, no <laughs> oh he bisexual. See, that's what they should have did, because that would have been not a whole lot of bisexuals on TV. I think that's the true. gossip girl is about to change that, but... Yeah, Gossip Girl does it with um, Chuck. Oh, like, well, I don't know where he's like, you act like I never kissed a guy before. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I remember the buildup for that. Like, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I was like, <laughs> it? Yeah. It was like the buildup for the three way with Hillary Duff. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's it. <laughs> oh, you're gossip girl you can do better <laughs> oh i remember the promo for that they were like oh and three <laughs> <laughs> oh i love a good promo like that <laughs> um all right so who else do we have we not talked about i mean i think we've talked about pretty much all of them the guy that works at the club that Jen likes and is now an alcoholic, I don't trust him for some reason. I feel like he's not an alcoholic. And he like did that to kind of like get under her skin. Mm. I did love that. That could just be being a soap watcher and feeling like everybody's up to something. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say like in real life, I think everyone's up to something. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's telling me so I'm like, oh, what are they up to? <laughs> like, they look a little shady. They're up to something. And it's nothing. But in my head though, it's like so I, I create stuff in my head that's just so much bigger than what it is. <laughs> a lot of stuff. <laughs> is there me. anything you're hoping will happen on this show? Uh, we're like a quarter of the way through it. <laughs> I don't know because I'm like like it's just interesting enough to keep watching if that make you know if you get like if I need, potential. yeah like if it, they moved it to another network or something it conflicted with a different show I'd probably be like eh well whatever but it's still just because it's really just a bunch of rich people <laughs> with rich problems and you're like oh, I'm supposed to care about you <laughs> Even the poor person on there has rich people problems. So right? I'm like, <laughs> oh, how sad. You're getting a junior VP executive pos position. And you didn't really do, you know, I'll take it. And she like grew up in that house. Yeah. Her mom was like the maid, but she like just they grew up. Like, together. They were, like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and the hot hunky guy wants you. And it's just like, Man, my poor people problems of work. I mean, she even said it wasn't until she went to college or went out into the real world that she felt like an outsider. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'd like th them to do like a little makeover on her. And then like, so that way Heather would get really jealous because then Peter and Chandler would both be like seeing her in a different light. And then, yeah, True. maybe a little bit of cat fight. <laughs> Cat fights. I mean, I know I don't like it's, I don't want to put women against women. But I love a good cat fight. Um, I may be making this up in my head from a different show, 
but I feel like there's another younger actor that comes on, a, a girl for the the nephew that came on. Oh yeah, he has a girlfriend coming up. I didn't know that. Oh, he does. So I didn't make that up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I watch so many shows. Sometimes I blend the storylines together. Big old pool, and no one has gotten to a fight or threw someone in it. Have you noticed that Heather has the most flashiest, like, looking clothes out of all of them? They all kind of wear grays and blacks, and she's in these, like, pinks and golds and, like, (laughs) metallic-looking dresses. That's why I want Samantha to get, like, a little wardrobe makeover Uh and really create a little drama there, because you know Heather thinks she's the only one there. Yeah. Also, there was something about the office building... I'm like, these guys are supposed to be titans. This doesn't look like, I don't know. It doesn't look like Ewing Oil. It doesn't look like I think <laughs> that's one that reminds me of Nile, or Melrose Place is because, like, the shot of the building is all uh-huh. like that Nile, uh, Melrose Place kind of look. Yeah, it looked like, um, what was the marketing firm that Amanda worked for? Oh. D&D Advertising? Yes, thank you. Right. Yeah. D&D, right, yeah. It looked like the offices for that. <laughs> it didn't look like a multi-million dollar corporation. Yeah, maybe they're just a small one. <laughs> they're supposed to be titans. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're acting for the part they want. I like that um, the ex-wife, Victoria Principal's character, is still involved in the family business, even though they're divorced. I, oh, Okay. I always love to when the ex-wife or ex-spouse shows up at the wedding mm-hmm. in real life. I mean that your ex probably won't show up at your own. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a woman who's like 20 years younger than you. <laughs> but I love yeah. that happens. I liked when um Heather came over to kind of introduce herself. Oh, and she's and like, they kind of got a little catty, and she was like, "Are we still talking about house like decorating or whatever?" And she, Victoria Principal, like Gwen, her, I'm like, "What is her character saying?" Gwen was just like, "Why wouldn't we be?" Like she was just as like passive aggressive, <laughs> just such a nice way too. I was like, "Oh, okay, Gwen." <laughs> I, well, in my head, I was like, "All right, Pam, go ahead." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ewing carried on, carried over. The <laughs> well, she could handle. I was like, you can handle Jr. You can handle this little twit. <laughs> oh, I wonder if she could handle Alexis Carrington Kobe. I don't know. I wouldn't want to cross paths with her. Unless <laughs> I was on her team. Um. Yeah, her showing up to the wedding. Well, she was invited. By yeah. the, the ex-husband. They seem to be pretty civil. Um, I want to know why they got divorced. I want to know if he was cheating or... They haven't really said why it didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, for them to be so close, you would think, why are y'all not still married? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do think it's funny that she lives directly across the street. Oh, I like when <laughs> like, uh, can you talk about her moving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we get back from our honeymoon, we need to talk about her moving. And I like how she was like, they can't get me out of this house. Richard can, she can't, like, <laughs> my house. <laughs> um, I guess the sisters live there. I mean, and the brothers sister. live with the father. I think they all live there. <laughs> uh, Wait, I think. Actually, you know what? You're right, because I think Casper was in the house. Yeah. When he was, like, staring out the window and then the lights went out. Yeah, I think he like lives in the pool house, kind of like Ryan. Oh, I think the sisters live with the mom, but the brothers live with the dad. That's the feeling oh. I get from just watching it because I don't see Peter at his mom's house all that often. That's true. Hmm. Now we're talking about where they live <laughs> again. The set. <laughs> okay. I liked when Peter donated like fifty. 50- million or whatever it was a high number like that to that charity that his mom and sisters go to oh yeah and then the mom's like what do you want yeah (laughs) not even wasn't it in his mother's name yeah (laughs) (laughs) and then she was just kind of like okay i'll talk to him i was like 
I guess you can buy love. <laughs> and Pam's okay with it. But I think she knows how he is. I feel like she's kind of just like, yeah, this is my troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there was something with the with Jen driving drunk that I was just like, this doesn't age well. Like when she caught the guy she was sleeping with with his wife, mm-hmm. and she got back in the car and she was just kind of like crashing into everything. I'm like, I, I don't know if they would do this. I thought she did that on purpose because it was his car, so she's like, <laughs> and just kept. Riding. I thought so too, but then the way she was crying, it just felt like she like was so drunk she gave up and like. <laughs> I did like when what's his name? I'm saying what's his name because the Australian guy slapped the drink out of her hand. Uh, you know. Yeah, and then he talks about it at AA, and he said yeah. it was more for him than it was for her. Yeah, and it's to me, I feel like he's kind of just leading her on. Like he, I thought he really kind of was into into her, but then it's like, no, I can't date you. You're an alcoholic too. You're right because it seemed like. He was really into her, and then... Maybe that's why you don't trust him. When she was waiting for him with the coffee, he was like, I can't do this. That's why I feel like they didn't know what they wanted to do. They kept flip-flopping, throwing things at the wall, seeing what would stick. (laughs) Changing the cast every episode. (laughs) (laughs) But... Yeah, I guess that's all I have to say on the first four episodes. I was going to say, we didn't give ourselves too much to talk about. Uh, just that there's potential. Yeah. Which, granted, I don't know. It's not like the potential is going to go anywhere. We know how we know. Only 11 episodes aired here in the States. <laughs> yeah, which I'm glad that the full thing aired somewhere else so that we could get access to it. <laughs> I really hate when they do that. I'm like, okay, everyone else in the world gets to see what happens to Titans. <laughs> but we... Yeah. With, they I'm do like, that with a lot of shows. They, like, sell it as a complete series and they just air it. And then it's, like, hits o- overseas. I'm just like, okay, yeah, overseas must have better taste than us. <laughs> well, I love the show Reunion, which was on Fox, because we talked about it not too long ago. I was like... <gasps> Yes, I love that show, and I still don't know how it ends. Who's the killer? Well, I think we'll find out because guess who has it? <laughs> so we'll have to do a, re, uh, a reunion special. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, we're gonna um, finish Titans. Um, maybe this will be part one of our Titans gone too soon. Maybe we'll do one or two more. I don't know. Depends on how much we watch at one. We watched Sitting. so much. We're trying to give the show that was canceled too soon more life. <laughs> <laughs> Extend it, which is a little bit longer. We're trying a- to make it relevant again. Maybe they'll bring it back. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like we have a good soap opera on TV anymore. Maybe Gossip Girl will take the place of that. But I mean, just like a good old classic soap opera. I don't, well, Dynasty would be the closest, but it's so comical, which I'm not complaining. I, I really enjoy it, but. I miss that just dramatic and over the um, melodrama. Up until like a year ago, I would say Empire was pretty soapy. Okay, yeah. Did you watch that? I've, I've seen the first two seasons. Almost, you know, I'm still in the process of watching it. I take oh. breaks in between things I watch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I binge and then I stop. And then I binge and that was one show that I watched every week when it was on. Um, from, the, from the premiere to, to the day it ended. <laughs> it's set in New but, York, isn't it? Or is it Chicago? It's in New York, but they film it in Chicago. Okay, that's why I thought. I couldn't remember <laughs> which way it was. Was it set in Chicago, filmed in New York? It was, they're from, I think, Pennsylvania, like Philly. But the current, because they do flashbacks, mm-hmm. but the current setting is New York but they film in Chicago. So. TV magic. Maybe they got a tax break in Chicago and that's why they film there. I don't know. Oh, isn't Chicago like very more music heavy too? It just might have been yep. more popular there. But it's still set right. in New York. Saying, New York is, <laughs> what am I saying? New York's like 
our country's capital almost uh, instead of Washington. I mean, I know our actual, you know, just, <laughs> not, honestly, just saying like that. When people think of America, they think of New York a lot of the times. Right? It's a major city. Yeah. New York, Chicago, Atlanta, LA, LA, Dallas. I think that Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, Las Vegas. Um, all right, so I guess that's all we have to say about Titan so far. Um, join us next week for our next episode, and we will talk to you soon. Check us out on all the socials. Bye, guys. Bye.